Good evening. Welcome, everyone. And it's also very much my pleasure to welcome our guests, Colonel Mahmoud Gaddafi of Libya. Salam alaikum. I'm Dr. Ali Abrahimi. I'm a research fellow at LSE Global Governance. And I'll be chairing this event on behalf of uh, Howard Davies, the LSE's director, who unfortunately couldn't make it this evening, but has sent the following message. You're most welcome here, Colonel Gaddafi. We wish you'd been able to deliver uh, some Libyan weather at the same time. This is the message from Howard Davies. We're pleased you've been asked to help in the process of training Libyan officials to manage a fast-developing economy, and we very much hope that the relationship will continue. So, Born in 1942, near the town of Sir, Colonel Gaddafi came to power in Libya in 1969, making him the world's longest serving national leader. He developed his own ideological framework, a third way distinct from capitalism and socialism, which includes the unique structure of government, and was published in the three volumes of the Green Book. On the regional and world stage, Colonel Gaddafi has championed pan-Arabism, pan-Africanism, and pan-Africanism. His lecture tonight will examine Libya's place in the world and the world economy. Colonel Gaddafi will deliver his remarks for up to 30 minutes, and this will be followed by the opportunity for questions from the audience. So, I'll give you the opportunity to ask them 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 to ask them. So, now, I'll give you the opportunity to ask them. Thank you. Good evening, my sons and daughters, the students and the distinguished professors and, and, and dear everybody, distinguished audience. I send my greetings to you and to this um, uh, distinguished um, uh, uh, university which uh, respect, which re deserves respect and uh, praise. Uh, it is respected by about, it has students from about 140 countries in the world, and they speak different languages of the world. In, and it, it's offering um, social, economic sciences and, and political sciences. I send my greetings to this, to this uh, international uh, university, which is very well known. And I'm prepared to listen to your questions, if you have any. And I would like to, uh, to, to, to start answering any questions that you uh, uh, pose. Hello, Hello, Mr. Gaddafi. Mm. I'm a Venezuelan student at the LEC. <laughs> and my question, my question is, is what, what is Libya's, Libya's position, position in the world? In the world? Thank you, Libya. Uh, geographically, it's, well, it's middle in the middle of the world, <laughs> between the Mediterranean and Mediterranean Sea, and, and and it goes deep to the depths of the African continent. So it is a link between and in the main gate with the bet between the Mediterranean Europe and Africa. It is a producer of oil and gas, and it contains companies of many nationalities which work in, in the um, sector of oil, industry of oil. Uh, jo uh, historically, it has a strategic position. Libya has been subjected to more than 13 invasions from the Mediterranean. All tried to occupy its territories. And recently, it was subjected in 1986 to, to a brutal attack by the American President Reagan and, and the, the um, British Prime Minister Thatcher. 
تعرض ل to an air attack of about 170 jet planes or airplanes, um, uh, jet fighters and bombarders, 40, and there were 40 Boeing planes which, which fueled or carried fuel for these planes, and we were sleeping at night when this happened in, the, in April 1986, and our children were asleep, and this brutal attack started by the Americans and the British uh, with the help of the 6th fleet, and they, they killed my daughter, and they killed many children. And, and this caused a lot of uh, devastation to the Libyan people, and I'm sure uh, they, they, were, they made sure that uh, Gaddafi was killed, and they said so, but of course the, the will of God, Allah the Almighty, uh, is not the same as the will of Regan. Or, or, and, and this campaign was, was a failure. The last invasion that was on Libya since the, since the Roman Empire until the, now the, 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 the American Empire, Libya has played a big role in the liberation of Africa and in supporting the um, liberation um, movements, and these movements have, um, have um, uh, succeeded, and now we are fighting uh, uh, terrorists like supported uh, President Mandela, Zimbabwe, and, and the presidents of, and, and leaders of, of Africa. And like the, 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 the leaders of Namibia and, and Guinea-Bissau and, and, and Angola and all of these, the leaders of these countries were in Libya. And uh, so we are responsible to for the support of the liberation movements and Africa has been liberated. So the colonialists consider that, uh, that uh, they, 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 had, they, they tried to sanction, impose sanctions on Libya and to boycott Libya. But, but the, the liberation is, is a sacred right against all the invaders of our countries, and colonialists consider this as a, a terrorism. But of course, they, they described Gaddafi as being a terrorist, and the reason is that we support the liberation movements. But now, Libya, after the liberation battle, with the, we are working in, for peace, and, and we are leading the process of peace on, on, the, um, on the Libyan side, on, on the international arena as well. And I advise you that you visit the, on the internet the, the website Gaddafi Speaks. GaddafiSpeaks.org, uh, and you, where you can read my uh, opinions, my philosophical um, uh, viewpoints, and on this website you can see plenty of my ideas. And every, uh, and even this le this lecture and this meeting with you will be uh, will be aired or will be uh, uh, published on this website, and this um, meeting with you is also recorded at this website. Thank you. Uh, hello, hello, I'm from Brazil. Brazil. I'm from Brazil. Uh, I'm from Brazil. 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 I'm from not only now, but after, the, after our friend Lula has been in power, the relations are very good and, and very strong. And now, uh, and our friend Lula 
Lula yeah the, our, our, your friend is also on, on the same line with Lula and, and the relations are very good and strong and, and the relationship of Libya with Latin America in general is good and now Latin America is starting to get rid of the all the the, the, the economy and the domination of the Americans and they are starting to liberate themselves this is this is what I'm saying about the relations between Libya and Brazil they are excellent Uh, My name is Kamchuk, I'm Nigerian. Nigerian. And I'm in Nigeria. In 2009, after the election, after the chairman of the African Union, the Republic of Serbian States, that to promote the need for the United States of Africa. And the United States of Africa, 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 أيد بعض الرؤساء ذلك بينما بعض الرؤساء لم لم باتوا صامتين فكيف تخططون للعمل على تحقيق هذا الاتحاد؟ At any rate, the whole world is changing now to, to into large spaces like in this map that you've seen. Have you, have you shown this map? Yes, that's the map. You can see this map. It, it represents the, the future map of the whole world. I mean, the whole world is, is, is changing into, it's turning into a group of, of seven or eight groups or, or, or unions or if you like like North America, Latin America, Africa, European Union, the Russian Union, uh, Asia, China and the India and Bangladesh and so on. This, this region, like in Sri Lanka and, and so on, these are also... The, this world, this is the map of the world, uh, which is going to happen in the future. Any national state will not survive. The survival will be only for unions. So the African um, uh, states should should unite also, like just like the United States of America, like the uh, Europe, the the Russian Federation, and like China. And anyone who doesn't believe in this is just ignorant, ignorant, and is backward thinking. And the African states, if 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 they if they are go backward and they don't integrate into one union, which is the uh, Union of uh, African States, I think the the, the 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 that state or that country will die. Uh, unfortunately, some of the African presidents do not think except about themselves and about elections and so on and about the, the, the duration of the elections and and, the, and then after that they are not interested in the uh, uh, affairs of the African continent. They only have interest during the elections but after that they ignore it. <laughs>